Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2021 Lamley Awards Week 2. The Instagram tournament for AutoWorld is live as of now. As this video debuts, there's also a post on lamleygroup.com so you can see these photos in photos. And we will get this tournament underway. Now, I do each tournament differently. It just depends on how things are rolled out. AutoWorld, bear with me as I try and explain this. AutoWorld did four uh, premium mixes this year. I have... I have I am not including hobby, by the way, because there's just so many and it's so complicated. But I just stayed focused. I think we'll get a good sense in this tournament on the actual premium releases that you can get at uh, hobby stores and Walmart, right? Walmart, they're exclusive. Well, actually, Target has them as well. Anyway, um, I went ahead and I took out all of the, uh, there's you know four mixes, six models in each mix, two versions of each. We're going to focus on the castings. In a sense. And if you're doing a tournament, right, you got to be doing 4s, 8s, 16s, 32, that sort of thing. And so you're going to have to do play-ins to get it even. So that's what this is all about. So I took the six new models that were introduced this week, this year. And then I took every casting that was uh, released this year. And then I factored in those that were repeated. We will go, all you need to know is go to my Instagram account. Go to my Instagram stories. And you're going to see cars paired against each other. The plan starts tonight. Vote for the one that you prefer, and it will all the, it will go all the way down to a uh, a winner by the uh, by the end of the week. Does that make sense? So let's talk about the plans. I actually have two bowls here to do the um, to do the drawing and the seating for the tournament. But the first one is going to be all about these eight models. It's going to be an eight model two round play in. All right. So the first model. Seed number one, and like I said, I do this, uh, I like to do this randomly as opposed to, oh, look at that. So these are the repeats. The 1994 Toyota Supra with wing, that is this guy right here. Now, we're seeing, I'm going to tell you which ones were new models. This is actually the second version of the new model. The Toyota Supra was introduced in 2021. First one was no wing. We'll get to that in the as we as we move on. But the repeat was this beautiful version with the wing. A lot of you preferred it um, because that's how you think of Supras these days. Um, but back then you had that stock Supra um, that uh, that didn't have the wing. And you occasionally see those little rare birds occasionally. But this one with the wing is the one that uh, you like. So we're going to put this right here, and it's going to be paired against in this tournament of eight. Let's unfold this one. Among the those that were released more than once, ooh, it's going against another new casting, the 1965 Chevrolet Suburban. Now, like I said, there are two colors in each release. The Suburban was released twice. That means there's four. I kind of picked those that I thought represented the casting well. Um, so I went with this gold version. I can't remember what release it's from. But you will, you will get to vote Supra versus Suburban right now in that round and that one. So this is, a like I said, another new casting, opening part, kind of a classic Suburban. I like this gold version. Remember, we are voting on the model itself. We don't necessarily have to factor in um, colors and stuff. It's just what one you like the best, right? Uh, whatever your criteria is for that. Um, so I like that uh, that Suburban going against, like it's randomly going against the Super. Okay, next pairing. Another new model that was repeated this year is the 2020 Chevrolet. I hope you see I'm drawing these at random. Chevrolet Corvette. So which one did I use for this one? I went with this black version. Um, you'll see the uh, the red model represented in the uh, for, for the actual round. So this black version with the chrome rims. This was, you know, we've seen obviously a lot of brands introduce the C8. Auto World is included, and I've heard from a lot of you how big a fan you are of this C8 uh, done by Auto World with the uh, with the opening part in the back. So um, this one, this repeat, will go against, even though I think that came from the first one, just trust me, and it will go up against, let me mix up these as much as I can. Huh. <laughs> These, the new models are being represented very quickly. 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 station wagon. So I went with what I consider the second best color on this one, um, or second best representation of this one. That's what I should call them, the representation. So Corvette representation, Supra with the wing, that was too distinct. Um, so that one, so this wagon was introduced, I think in the first mix, second mix maybe, and uh, released twice um, in two different mixes. And so this wagon goes up against the Corvette. 
All right, let's see what's next. In our next, we have two more pairings. I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just, you can see me drawing from there, right? So, all right, unfolding this one, 1983 Chevrolet Silverado 10. Now, I'd almost take out that year and just focus on Chevy Silverado. Um, because I said that each one is technically different, and, and Auto World is very specific about that, like the headlights, the grill, and stuff. But we're just kind of going with the basic model. So this is the one I picked as the second best representation this year of the Chevy Silverado. I don't even know what year this one is, but um, I mean, I said 83. I think that's correct, but I could be wrong. Uh, we're just going to go with the Silverado, and I went with this black version um, with the black rims. So that one will go up against... Getting on these unfolded. 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. I don't know if this is the Hellcat. I went with a Dodge. The Dodge Challenger, there was the Demon, and then I think there was the standard silhouette. So the Hellcat, and I think the Scat Pack, or whatever they call it. Um, so uh, this might be that one, but I went with the standard Dodge Challenger, and then I made the Demon its own new casting because it was. So this blue version will go up against the Silverado. We'll see which one you prefer on that one. And then the final play in, we're going to have two. We'll just go ahead and pick this first one. So we pair them. It, we already know what it is. It's going to be the Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo. I consider this teal green the, be the second best representation of the Stealth. I like that teal color. Um, I think the Stealth, you know, very interesting. I actually inter introduced last year, right? and kind of showing this expansion of Auto World into kind of the 90s and things like that, uh, 80s and 90s, right? This is uh, the 92 Stealth, um, and they're doing the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, but uh, cool model, and then obviously it's going up. We don't even have to draw it. It's going up against the Camaro. So there was the ZL1 released. We'll see that in, the, uh, in this next round, uh, but this is, the, this is the repeat. I'll just go with that. I'm just going with that modern Camaro silhouette. Um, and, uh, and I went ahead and put that one in there. Okay, so get that out of the way. Get the new bowl out of the way. And let's see what's going to go up against the winner of the Supra with wing and the Suburban. Please don't be a Suburban or a Supra. Please don't be. But we're going with uh, whatever the random diecast gods want us to do. So let's see what it is. Oh, ho, ho, this is going to be a battle. So the winner of that round goes up against the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. This is the one that I thought best represented the Corvette casting, this red one with the black stripes. Um, I went ahead with the one with the, I like the yellow with the black rims, but I like this red one because it shows the chrome rims, or at least the silver rims. So that one is, oh, it's such a cool casting, and it's going to go up against whatever wins between the Supra and the, the Supra with the wing and the Suburban. So we already know we're going to have an epic battle right there with the uh with with those all right let's go to the let's go to see what's going to go up against the corvette thankfully it's not going to be corvette versus corvette corvette and the nova wagon all right unfold it oh the dodge stealth rt twin turbo again what best represents the casting this year i went with this white on white when I think of a 90s car, like the coolest of the 90s car, I just think of so many other, like the Mercedes and the BMWs and stuff that I see from that era that were sporting this look. The white with white rims, and I think this Stealth really just hammers that home. Um, and uh, I thought the best representation of the era and of the car. So the Stealth will go up against the winner of the Corvette and the, uh, and the Nova Wagon. All right, let's see what go, will go up against the Silverado. And the Dodge Challenger. Again, just hoping for something that's not one of those two. But we're drawing. And... Oh! So that's the Scat Pack. But this is... So I got this a little turned around. But it's the other Dodge Challenger. So I got this turned. But I'll put this... Actually... Yeah, I think this is... I think I've got this right. So it's the Demon. So we're going to have, if the Silverado beats the Challenger, that's fine. But if the Challenger wins, it's going to go up against its brother, the Dodge Demon. So there it is. This is a, like I said, I, this is a different enough casting. I know that, uh, you know, I put, um, I just think the Demon, and it's a freshly new casting. There's no change in headlights. It's a completely different take on the Dodge Demon. It's got a little bit of a wider stance. 
um, you know, just a kind of a different look. Um, and I, you know, I think it's cool that uh, this is, I would consider this a fresh new casting. So that one is going up against the winner there. And the last pairing against the winners of the play-in, play-in goes up against, we already know the stealth is represented, so let's see if it's going to be Camaro versus Camaro. Nope. 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon. I like this one. Best representation. No opinions, John. No opinions. Best representation of the wagon, in my view, is this one that's just been released in release four in the light kind of metallic blue with the dog dish hubcaps. I thought this was the best look of the wagon. So this was the this one goes in that uh, this one gets the buy right on the uh, on the play in and will go up against the winner of the stealth and of the Camaro. OK, so. That's round one, two, three, and four. We have four more rounds. Let's see how we're going to pair these um, when it goes. And this is just a chance for you to look at these models and a chance for me to enjoy them too. All right. The first one in round in the ne- in the first round will be released in 2021, the 2017 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. I had to pick the best representation of this casting. It was only released once this year. Um, and was it uh, the Third Mix 3, I think? It has the big fat tires on it. I went with, there was the yellow one, which I thought was a great color, but I think this one with the uh, roof rack was the best representation of the Jeep. And so we are going to, and you can see that, it's got, you know, the black rims, kind of a cool look for this one. Um, and I just, I, you know, I just like the gas cans and everything else on it. just has a different kind of off-road, very Jeep-appropriate look. All right, let's see what's going to go up against the Jeep. We'll start... We'll draw an opponent for the Jeep, and that will, there it is. 1993 Toyota Supra with no wing. This one was the debut. I thought this best represented that. Well, it was just the no wing was the debut. I considered that and the wing so different that I put them in different categories. This one in white, there was also a silver released. It was fun to see the reaction to this one because I think a lot of people, the Supra is such a hot car these days, such a collectible car, but we're so used to the wing on it obviously it's had a presence with fast and furious and whatnot but um this i this is very auto world very appropriate for auto world to do this debut in this standard wingless supra it looks weird to us these days but this is this was a standard supra and i really like this i like the fact that they did the release whether you like this casting or not put it up against the jeep see what you think all right next one dun 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 Ah, 1975 Cadillac Eldorado. This debuted last year and only released once this year. I mean, Habu, we saw a lot of these released in multiple versions this year. But this Eldorado, along those land yachts that they've been doing, they've done a a few Cadillacs, right? Um, This Eldorado was cool. There was two colors. I think there was a blue color and this kind of tan color, which I thought was a good representation of the Eldorado and kind of different from these other releases in terms of color. So that will go in, uh, in that, in those rounds, whatever round number that is, I've totally lost track. We just need to know what its opponent's going to be. That's the most important thing. We'll go this one that just hooked right there. And it is, ah, the 2018 Camaro Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. This one was released a couple times. Here's what I think was the best representation. This thing is a monster with its big spoiler very mean looking grill. Um, I like the silver version as a good representation of this casting. Camaro versus Cadillac, that'll be a fun one. All right, next pairing. There it is. The last of the new models in the final mix of 2021. It is the 77 Lincoln Continental Coupe Mark V. I picked this light blue version as the representation. There was also, what is it, black was the other color in that premium mix four, but I thought this blue one was the best representation. Another big yachty, yachty is not a word, but let's run with it. Yachty, 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 okay. Um, yacht-ish car, the Lincoln Muffer. I love this choice. And uh, if you like this choice in this execution, you can definitely vote for that one, but are you gonna vote for it against, well, what, what's it gonna go up against? Let's find out. This will be a big one because we already know once we draw this one, we'll know what the final two is going to be. And there it is. What will the Lincoln go up against? Ah, this 1965 Chevy Suburban. 
This is the two-tone version I thought best represented the Suburban in this kind of aqua green color with the white roof. Like the two-tone look. Um, thought that one in terms of new, so two new castings going against each other. Uh, the Suburban versus the Lincoln. Um, both highly detailed, but we're talking an auto world, so of course they're going to both be highly detailed. But let's put those against each other. And then obviously, I mean, we can draw, we'll just draw the first one just to see, and then we're going to, but we already know it's going to be two pickups against each other. 1981 Chevy Silverado. Again, we're just going to, it's the 19, well, it's just the Silverado, the square body. This one, I don't even know what year it was. I think this is from the most recent release in this tan color. Thought it was good representation. Thought it was different enough from that black version we did. So that goes, here, let's move these back against a modern truck. So that'll be a fun one. The F-250, right? We just, we don't even have to draw it. It's just right there. Uh, is it the F-250? I don't know what it even says here. Um, but there it is. Modern Ford truck. Um, that will go up against the square body and we'll put it right there. But there you go. It starts now. Go to Instagram, at Lamley Group. Go to my stories. If you, Some of you asked, where's the stories? Because you're not familiar with Instagram. You go to my bio page and you'll see a little circle uh, with my logo in it. Tap on that and you'll see them. And then you can just, they're, they're live for like, like, what, 15 seconds and they move to the next story. But uh, you can go back. You just have to tap on the picture. You, you'll see a little place where you can vote for one or the other. Vote for it, and then your vote is recorded, which is fun. Um, and uh, and we'll see. We'll go round by round by round this week while we also go to lamblygroup.com and vote. You can see the pictures there on lamblygroup.com, or you can uh, just see them on the stories on Instagram. This will be a fun one. Thank you, AutoWorld, for sending these models. Great, great uh, brand to collect. You guys tell me what you think. Bye.